Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,281. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,280 to 1,281 and follow along, click on the link below the video. You are not going to believe this video. These are new functions. Text join is simply amazing, and concat is pretty amazing too. Now. This is in Excel 2016 or later. I'm shooting this in February 2016. If you don't have these functions and you're still watching this video in the year 2016, you probably have to go and sign up for the Insider program, which I demonstrate in Excel Magic Trick 1280. And you can click on this sheet when you download it, and it has notes. Now, we're going to look at a bunch of cool tasks for both of these functions here. We need to join first, middle, and last name. Now, the way I usually do it is I simply use the join symbol. And since I need to have a space between each name, I put a space in double quotes, and then I join it. So we are joining five different things. So we have four ampersands, Control-Enter, Double click and send it down. So that'll work in the old days. Not only that, but concatenate is an older function. This new function, concat, is supposed to replace it. But I want to remind us something about concatenate. Now, notice concat comes up first. The screen tip says concatenates a list or range of text strings. That's what this function does different. It can do list range or individual. If I come down and click on this, it says join several text strings. So you got to do things one at a time. Now notice that compatibility yellow triangle means we shouldn't use this one anymore. We should use this one. But I want to check this one out. Notice the screen tip says text one, text two, text three. That'll be different than our concat screen tip. Now I also want to show you that the dialog box for concatenate and for concat are actually easier than typing it out in the screen tip. So I'm going to use the keyboard Shift F3, or you can just come up and click this button right here, Shift F3, and it opens up the Functions Argument dialog box. So here's the three things. Watch this. I'm going to click Tab. And what's easier about the dialog box is when I type a space and then Tab to get to the next text box, it puts the double quotes in for me. That's pretty amazing. That'll work both for concatenate and concat. All right, so text, boom, tab, space, tab, and then I click there, and that will do it. Click OK. Double click and send it down. That's still the old way. Now let, let's look at concat equals, and there it is, concat, tab. Ooh, it says text one and then dot, dot, dot. Now again, this argument is going to be able to do something like this, which we'll see later, or do one at a time, one in each argument. There's the first name, Shift F3, Tab, Space, Tab, Tab, Space, Tab. So concat can work exactly like concatenate. Click OK, double click, and send it down. Now in this particular situation, since we have a delimiter between each one of the items of space, that is where this new function text join is so amazing. Equals text j tab. Or we can read this. Concatenates a list or range of text strings using a delimiter. Look at that. There's the delimiter. Double quote space, double quote to put a space as the delimiter, comma. And look at this. Ignore empty cells or include empty cells. Now in this particular situation right here, we don't have any empty cells, but in our next example, we will. All right, ignore empty cells. I'm going to put true, double click, or a one, comma, and then the text. Notice we can do the same thing. We can actually join separate things, but we just are going to click the whole range right there. And so in this situation, text join is what we should use. Control, enter, double click, and send it down. Oh my heavens, that is simply amazing. That is a huge benefit over our earlier versions of formulas to do this task. Now, this is where it gets better when we have spaces. We'd have to do something like this, right? So for the middle little bit, this one right here, we had to ask the question, are you blank? If you're blank, then please join nothing. Otherwise, take whatever's there, like if it was a T, and join a space. Same with concatenate. Not anymore equals text J tab. 
the delimiter is still a space, comma, and this is where ignore empty cells is just beautiful. One, comma, and the text, I'm simply highlighting a range. It knows to put the delimiter between each one, and if it sees an empty cell, just skip over it. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. I don't know how many times I've had to deal with situations with empty cells. That is just amazing. Now let's look at a situation for concat. Oftentimes we're making product codes, and we have a bunch of different elements that go into the product code. If there's no delimiter between them, this is where the concat function is so awesome. Con tab, I simply highlight the range. That is amazing. So many times I've had items, and I always use the ampersand, but no more. Concat is what I'm going to use. Now, if you happen to need a dash between the first one, but not between the second one, Concat can do that too. I can do con tab. The first text is simply supplier, comma, and then I'm going to uh, use the screen tip, double quote, space, double quote, comma, and then watch this for text. I can highlight a range. So I can combine a single cell or a range. Close parentheses, Control, Enter, double click, and send it down. I see that I put a space there, and it really was a dash. So the whole column is highlighted. I'm going to hit F2 to put it in edit mode. And really, I wanted backspace a dash. Control, Enter to populate this edited formula down through the column. Now, what if you needed a dash here and a slash here? This is not uncommon. We have multiple items we're joining together, and we need a different delimiter between each one. Well, this is how I would do it. I'm simply going to join in double quotes a dash to this one, join, and the next delimiter is slash. That's easy enough, right? Control, Enter, double click, and send it down. Well, guess what? The text join function can do this in the delimiter. We can put both delimiters in. Now we have to know array syntax, curly bracket, and then in double quotes a dash, comma, and then in double quotes our forward slash, end curly bracket, array syntax. Many functions can handle multiple items if you just type them in. Comma, ignore, I'm going to say one tab. And then the text, I simply highlight the whole range. And it will know to put the first delimiter between the first two items, the second delimiter between the second two, close parentheses, Control, Enter, double click, and send it down. That is amazing. And guess what? This will also work if our delimiters are in the cells off to the side. I'm going to hit F4 to lock it, comma, 1, comma, and there's my relative cell range. Close parentheses, Control, Enter, double click, and send it down. Pretty amazing. But it gets even more and more amazing. Here, this is just another example. I'll do this one quick. Text join. I need a space, comma, 1, comma, and there is the number of plies for the wood, the size for the aircraft birch plywood, and the unit. Control, Enter, double click, and send it down. Now here's an example for text join. This is a situation I've been in many times throughout the years. I have a column of emails. I do not have this as a group in Outlook. I have not set up a mail merge. I just need each one of these emails separated by a semicolon so I can copy and paste and paste into my email editor, whatever it might be. And I've done this for a year. This, this is how I do it. Ampersand, double quotes, semicolon, close double quotes, ampersand. And then I simply highlight this, copy, and then click, Control-V, click, Control-V. And you know that took a long time, but that's faster than doing it any other way I can think of. Control Enter, and there it is. But guess what? I do not have to do that anymore. Here's my new favorite use for text join. I simply highlight, close parentheses, and I don't even Control Enter. I go like this because I'm going to paste it into my email. I highlight F9, Control C, Control Z, and then I hit Enter. So right now, if I go over to my email editor, when I control V, there is all the text. One more example for text join. If we 
wanted to take this data set and make a type of one column delimited data set. Now I know there's you know save as text and CSV, which does that, but maybe you want to do it right here in the cell. Well, now we simply, if we want a delimiter of comma, one comma, and there it is, first, last, email, phone, close parentheses, control enter, double click and send it down text join and to a lesser extent the concat simply come to our rescue amazing so if you don't have the insider program you can go ahead and download that if you're watching this video in later years you got to have excel 2016 or later to get text join or concat all right i can't wait to the next video we'll talk about some of the other new functions see you next video